Hey button pushers, my name is Nick and welcome to Quintus and the Absent Truth. Why has Quintus just turned pink? So this is an adventure horror game where you play as Alan Shaw. Your daughter is missing and you have to find her with the help of your little buddy Quintus who is the mousy fella right underneath me. This is just chapter one, uh, which it said is a short introduction to to the story and to like the mechanics of the two of them. So I don't know how long this is going to be, but artistically, this looked phenomenal from the screenshot. So I'm very excited about this, and I want to fall in love with this in a big way. Oh, okay. There was a weird, creepy bunny there. Also, the music sounds incredible. Oh, it looks so good. And the filling in of colour, like the flooding of the colour, is so cool. I'm gushing now and I'm enjoying it now before the before the spoops set in. Fuck so what? Quintus, can you turn the light on for me? Oh, oh, little Quintus. You are the strangest little fella. Oh, I'm using... Okay. Apparently I'm using a control. Right, little buddy. Let's go. Oh, oh little buddy. You're so damn cute. Best Composer, 1998. 95. 93. 94. Okay, 3, 4, 5. 7. <gasps> what about 1996? I was having a bad year that year. 96 and 99. We don't talk about those years. Ah. Yeah, I love that, that everything's like hollow in the dark. But then when you turn the light on, it becomes coloured. Uh, that's a really cool take on a horror game. Because horror games are always just like darkness, but to make it extra light. Almost I'm sure I've creepier. forgotten something that's happening today. I better check the calendar. That is the most adorable objective thing in the world. Oh yeah, it said in the description that today is Lydia's birthday. Who Lydia's my missing daughter. Oh, it turns so slowly. Okay, that's that's better. It's like rank racked all the way up to maximum sensitivity. Um, right, calendar. Where is the calendar? Would it be in here? No. Where is the calendar? What's in the news today? Where is Alan Shaw? A decade of no music, no concerts, or even a single note on sheet paper. Alan Shaw used to be one of the great composers of our time. But what happened to the once renowned composer? I feel it was a little harsh. I mean, it's not harsh to call me amazing, but, you know, harsh to come at me like that. Like, where is the calendar? Is it up upstairs? you feel like helping me out, Quintus, just let me know. Tiptoe through the tulips. Big 
this game does look fantastic. Bolt holes. I, just, I have to check. Because I know if I don't, there will end up being something like st stuck to the back of one or something. Ooh, that's Lockhead. Andromeda music. Dear Alan, after several meetings with yourself regarding the fact that you've not released any music under the Andromeda music label now for 10 years, we're going to have to cut ties with you. We've given you so many chances over the course of 10 years, and you have continuously promised us material, then let us down. We cannot go down this path any longer. As you're aware, as agreed in your contract, if an artist slash composer fails to deliver the set number of albums in a given time frame, we can cancel the contract, and on top of this, cut any royalties from previously released content. Ooh. This is not how we wanted this to end, Alan. We know you've been through a lot, and we have consistently supported you through your troubles, but we can't push deadlines back any further. Ten years is a long time for no material to be released. Unfortunately, the name Alan Shaw just doesn't seem relevant anymore. Our apologies that this has not ended up the way has this this has not ended the way we wanted. Your first album's a legend, but it would appear this musical bottle has been corked. Sincerely, Charlotte Trinity, A and R representative. Eesh. That's not good. Always looking forward. Yeah, it's one thing to obviously lose a contract, and obviously a long-term contract, but to lose all royalties as well. Like, that's got a sting. Seriously, where the hell is this calendar? I, uh, I'm pretty sure I've been crouched the entire time I've been walking around. Ah, oh, it's Lydia's room. God, I suddenly feel like a giant. You had no man. Oh, that's adorable. So I'm going to need to find the code for that at some point then, I imagine. Just instantly assuming I'm going to rifle through my daughter's things. Yeah. But receive the hunt for the calendar. Ah, it's right there. I was looking for one on the wall. Yeah, Lydia's birthday. Mouse magazine. Oh, well, that's spectacular. Okay. So I've got nothing in my inventory. I can't do anything I've got. There's nothing I can use. I've checked the calendar. I feel like it should be reacting to the fact it says Lydia's birthday. Okay. So I've completely reset the game. <laughs> I'm sure I've forgotten something that's happening today. I better check the calendar. I'm gonna go check the calendar right away. Oh, it's Lydia's birthday. But where is she? Okay. It's taken me half an hour to get to this point. Now we can actually get on with the story. Well, I have been in every square inch of this house. I promise you, she's not here. I should probably check her bedroom. Lydia? Lydia? Mm. Oh, what's that in the vent? I can't get it from this side. 
Maybe I should try the other end of the vent. This seems like a job for Quintus. Oh, little buddy. I can't reach it. Quintus, do you think you can get it for me? You're a good lad, Quintus. You're a good lad. What? Cheers, Quinty. You're invited to my party on June the 7th. It's in the backyard. Please dress up as your favorite animal. I will be the bunny. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, that got me. I knew that it's going to be the bunny, and I thought, okay, if it's Lydia dressed as the bunny, it won't be as freaky. But no. No, it still got me. It's locked, but where did I put the key? I don't bloody know. Oh my god. I'm such a turd. Steady, careful. Ah, damn it. Oops. Maybe Quintus can get to the keys from the side. Couldn't open you a minute ago. Quintus, I need your help, little buddy. There you go, Quintus. Get the key for me, buddy. Go, oh, do your mouse thing. You're a good friend, Quintus. Ready for my bunny daughter. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. I wasn't out here a second ago. Oh, okay, that's gone now. What is happening, and why am I being such a jumpy little bitch? Mm-hmm. I don't think I want to go back in the house. That's where Piano Man is. Okay, can I do anything out of here first? Don't think so. Okay. All right, big brave boy, back in the house. Hey, hello. Uh, hello? This is Alan Shore. Yes. Who is this? We have your daughter. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So this is Quintus and the Absent Truth. Okay, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm interested. I'm interested in this story. I feel like the pacing was a bit off. There was a lot of, like, walking around and just there's no real kind of guidance. It's easy to miss things, which I mean, is fine. I think it just kind of put me on the back foot a little bit because for some reason it glitched out the first time. So I'm then spending the rest of the time constantly worrying, am I doing the right thing and it's not triggering? But no, it was just I couldn't find the key because I'm a moron. But well, that was good. That was good. That the jump at the top of the stairs, I'll give them that. The balloon jump, that one's on me because I'm a little bitch, clearly. But this is very cool. I'm very interested to uh, find out more about chapter two and see where this story goes because there's there's something not right with Mr. Shaw. Hopefully, we can find out soon. So if you want to check this out for yourself, then the link is in the description below. 
thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video then make sure you hit the like button it's tiny little rodent best friend the subscribe button make sure you that bad boy and until next time love you bye